Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.14.4 single player. World Edit literally came out today for single player Minecraft. It's been out for a while on servers, but today it updated for Forge for single player. So we're going to go through every single step of getting World Edit set up in your single player world. However, if you do want to play with your friends, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the sponsor of this video and they are absolutely incredible to start a 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server to play with your friends, running World Edit, running any plugins that you want, and even running mods such as Tinker's Construct, Galacticraft, any mod packs. They have over 50 mod packs with one click install over at Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want an incredible 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy, check out Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you want to do is go here. So this is our tutorial on installing World Edit in single player. Now, I know this says for 1.8, I updated all of this before this video, like I went through and updated the entire tutorial part. However, the video that you're watching is going to be right here and not the 1.8 one. That's how long it's been since we've actually done a video on World Edit for single player. So it's back, it's updated, that is awesome, and here is our tutorial on it. Now, once you're here, you wanna click on this green Download World Edit button. It'll then take you off to World Edit's Curse Forge download page, where on the right-hand side, we'll be able to see World Edit 1.7.0 beta. Now we're going to be doing this for Forge. And as you can see, if you highlight over this, it says Forge for MC 114 plus, right? So right there that is. Now, one of the things you can also do is click on files right here and double check it. And there's actually a more recent release version over here that's not on the right hand side. So I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we clicked on files there. So all you want to do is click on files and then make sure it's for 114.4. As you can see, Forge for Minecraft 114.4. You don't want to download the Fabric one. If you download the Fabric one, it won't work. You need to download Forge for MC 1.14.4. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll over and click on this purple download button here. And it'll go ahead and take us off to download in five seconds. And after those seconds are done, it will go ahead and start the download. Now it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. Now it's going to ask you if you want to save the file. And that's perfectly fine as long as it starts with World Edit and ends in dot jar it should also say forge in the file name ours does world edit forge and it ends in dot jar so we're going to go ahead and click keep to save the file if you're on mozilla firefox it's going to be in the center of your screen and you're going to click save again as long as it has forge world edit and ends in dot jar in the file name now we aren't done downloading just yet we still need forge to be able to install world edit with forge so to get that go to the third link down below and that's going to take you here this is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing forge now once you're here we're going to go through it in this video so you just need to click this green forge download button once you're here you want to come up here to the top make sure it says 114 click on 114 there and then click on 1.14.4 once you clicked on 114.4 it should say mc 1.14.4 there if it doesn't then you need to make sure you go to the left hand side and select it. If once it does say MC114.4 there, go ahead and click on the installer button under download latest. We'll then go ahead and download Forge in the bottom left, just like with World Edit, we'll have to keep this, but as long as it starts with Forge and ends with dot jar, we're good to keep it on Google Chrome. Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of your screen. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. We will be able to see on our desktop we have Forge and World Edit Forge for MC114.4. Now, if you don't have that on your desktop, it's probably in your downloads folder. To get to that, click the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left, and then once you've clicked on it, type in Downloads, right like this. See, Downloads right there, just search for Downloads, and then you'll have this Downloads folder. Click on that, and in here, you'll find Forge and World Edit. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're gonna be starting off with Forge, because we have to install Forge to be able to install World Edit. So to do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Well, we have a solution for you. All you wanna do is go to the description of this video, and you'll find a link on how to download and install Java. And here it is. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft server, Minecraft mods, that's what we're doing here, and more basically anything to do with Minecraft, or really Java, this will show you exactly how to do it. We go through every single step. Now, once you've got that downloaded, you should be able to open Forge. If you still can't, we do have another solution, also linked in the description, and that is the jar fix. It's helped almost 200,000 people repair the jar files on their computer and make them work with Java again in order to allow you to open up Java files. So now once we've done that, we can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. That would then open up the Forge mod installer here, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. It'll then download the libraries and do everything it needs to do to get 
Forge up and running on your computer for Minecraft 1.14.4. Now if it fails at this point, all you need to do is go play Minecraft 1.14.4 with no mods installed, 100% vanilla, no Optifine, no anything. Just basic, basic Minecraft, then come back and this will work. However, at this point, you can see it has successfully installed for us. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.14.4. Awesome, so we can go ahead and click OK. Now it's time for us to install world edit here. To do that, you again want to click on the Windows icon. It's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the bottom left, and this time type in Run, R-U-N. Now we're going to have this Run application, so this is Run App, it opens up here. Go ahead and click on that, and then it'll open up this like basically search box or text box. And in this text box, you want to enter percent sign, APP, DATA, percent sign, percent sign, app data, percent sign, exactly like that, and then click OK. That'll then open up our roaming folder here, and here we'll have a .minecraft folder, and in our .minecraft folder we should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't forget, it's okay. Just go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Or if you already had one, go ahead and open that one as well. Then go ahead and take World Edit and drag it into your mods folder. Again, this is the last one we want to confirm, but this is Forge. It should say Forge here, and it should say 1.14.4. If it does, we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, but don't slam the play button immediately. We need to make sure we're selecting the right PAR file. To do that, click on Installations here, and then over here you should have a Forge profile. If you do, it should say 1.14.400. If it does, go ahead and click Play. But if you don't have this, no worries. Click on this new button right here, and then once you've done that, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have Grief Protected Survival, two survival servers, one has Slash Shop, and one has a player-based economy with over 20 quests on it. Medieval Survival, absolutely incredible, completely unique. Go check it out. And then we also have Custom Skyblock with over 100 players on our Skyblock server every single day. So come play on Breakdowncraft. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. All the info in the description. And uh, yeah, best server in the world right there. But nevertheless, once you've entered your name, we can click next to version here. And this version drop down will go ahead and see release 114.4-4. Right there it is, right? We've got that. Now, if you have multiple ones like I do, we've got three different ones here. We want to click on the one with the biggest number on the end. So in my case, that's 0.45. It's much bigger than 19 and 14. So we want to go ahead and click on that one. Now resolution, I'm just going to change that just so you all can see once we get in game. And then we just click create. Now we've got this new profile. It should say 1.14.4 forge under it. It does. So we can go ahead and click play on our play.breakdowncraft.com profile. At this point, Minecraft will open up. World Edit is installed in 1.14.4 single player. It's very, very easy, very, very simple, but an incredible mod. Literally, World Edit is a must-have mod if you love building. If like you mostly play Minecraft in creative mode, or let's say you're just building out a really cool big build, and uh, you want to make it easier, World Edit is the perfect way, the best way to do that. So once we're here, we can go ahead and click on Mods, and then we will see World Edit over here. As you can see, easy to use in-game World Editor for Minecraft. Now we can go ahead and jump into single player. I'm just going to create a new world and call it World Edit just because it's easier to create a new world and go ahead and make us join in creative and then create the world i'll do a quick jump cut once this world is created i will see you to show you world edit is also working in game here we are in game and if you do have cheats enabled with world edit you can go ahead and do slash slash one and boom we do have the world edit one here and then we can go ahead and right click to select and left click to select and now we can do whatever we want we can do cut there and that'll remove that we can then go ahead and do paste up here and it'll paste it back there in that selection we can go ahead and copy it and then we can paste it back here and do that so awesome stuff very very simple very very easy you can also do selections like this like POS 2 and that'll select those positions right like so and now we can go ahead and for example do slash slash set diamond block and there we go. Now we have a big diamond block thing. There's also brushes in World Edit. There's so much stuff. I will link to the World Edit link in, wiki in the description down below for you all to uh, check out. But we can go ahead and do like a paint and with a cuboid um, set. And then we'll just do diamond block because why not? It's always fun. So there we go. As you can see, we've set this as a brush. And now we'll go through here and basically paint all of this in as we go. You can also do things a little more crazy. That's set, but you can also change it to like, you know, the other ones like item, for example. And it does it a bit differently. So 
all kinds of stuff, all kinds of incredible things that you can now do in Minecraft using World Edit. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy World Edit, and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out, and it means a ton to me. Also, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, guaranteed. Great protected survival, two separate servers, one with 20 quests and a player-based economy, medieval survival. You'll absolutely love it. And then we also have custom Skyblock with over... 100 players online every single day, awesome OP enchantments, an incredible Skyblock server that you will absolutely love. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is again the IP. I will see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.